It's not monkeypox, it's psycho hamsters. Yep, a team of top scientists. I added the top. They've been using <laughs> CRISPR gene editing, an amazing system, amazing technique, and they thought they'd remove a bit of DNA from the hamsters to make them calm. Mm. But... It Don't all went tell. wrong. I'm presuming lightning happened while they were mixing yeah, yeah. things in the, and they took out a bit of DNA and it turned them into psycho hamsters. And if that isn't a film on Channel 5 tonight, it really should it's be. It's a horrific prospect, though, especially if you're locked in a cage with one as another hamster, you know. Were they all oh, psycho one hamsters? One. Or was it? Yeah. Yeah, it, well, a friend of mine, she told me, I can't remember when this... Anyway, there's some... She had found two hamsters and one of them had got its head wedged in a in a part of the cage that it couldn't get its head out of and the other one had basically eaten it. Oh, yeah. Well, the thing about small rodents is they can be incredibly vicious. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. I mean, the Latin name of the Mongolian gerbil is uh, Ari- Meriones unguicolatus, which means tooth and nail, because they fight tooth and nail. They go into oh. a ball of death and one emerges, the victor. Like, wow. you know, it really is like a sort of 80s... What are they called again? Meriones unguicolatus. That, fa- that should be a death metal album. Well, and, the, and the first ever, the first ever recorded pet gerbil was owned by Genghis Khan. Wow. So, yeah, they bit an assassin's foot and the assassin screamed and, uh, w- and so Genghis woke up and then killed the assassin. And these are the normal ones before we've done CRISPR gene yeah, yeah, editing yeah. on them yeah. that turn them into these rogue beasts. CRISPR is insane, isn't it? It's going to change everything. I wish I could get a CRISPR set for Christmas. Like, change you should get the Merit Chemistry set. The... Do you know what the P in CRISPR stands for? Here's a good question. Do you know what it's Say cool. Palindromic. Apparently, they, the whole thing worked when they noticed that there were certain palindromic sections in, in chromosomes, and if you sliced into the middle of them, you mm-hmm. could create a space into which you could... Nice. Yeah. Well, into so, which you could create... Psycho hamsters, which is also what need. it might stand for now. <laughs> yeah, one thing we didn't need. I mean, I'm presuming what happens then is the hamsters take over the lab, they kill some of the lab assistants, and then there's yeah. probably a PhD student. Yeah, she's got a backstory to do with rodents. She doesn't get on with them well, no. and then somehow she tricks them into a big wheel and then plot twist turns out it's the university's tumble dryer that would be a great film that's a nice twist i like it are you basing it loosely on the birds the yeah got one? all yeah. the hamsters with the golden gate bridge just covered in hamsters but you need to get quite close up to go hang on the golden gate bridge looks slightly furry <laughs> <laughs> it seems some, to be moving some van driver <laughs> <to> take them <laughs> out. But the reason they use hamsters is because their brains are a lot like ours, which I feel like, you know, speak for yourself. <laughs> but they get cortisol responses. Oh, they do they? Get, yeah, so... Unlike rats, which have no gag reflex, which have, I know is useful. How they did you find be... that out, Sam? Yeah, I know, that is <laughs> <laughs> just in, Which they say... No, apparently that's why they're very useful when you're giving them medicine and stuff. They won't right. throw up, so well, they, they have to experience the whole load, you know, yeah. the, the full cycle. But on the other hand, that does seem to suggest they're not like us, right? Yeah. You know, in important ways. There was a chap in the newspaper over the weekend who was um, a, an expert on what they call, um, uh, it's like lifespan, but healthy lifespan, health span or something, you know, living old and, and remaining healthy. And he said 99% of the things that come along and everyone gets excited about are nonsense because they work on mice. Right. But they don't work on humans. There are so many more uh, factors uh, and variables, that, you know, not least of which is just our, our sheer longevity, you know, but also as, you know, you could say, well, this, this mouse was given a, a diet of, of red wine and fish and this, this mouse was given a diet of, of uh, stodgy potatoes yeah. and, and bread. But on the other hand, was either of those mice, you know, holding down a job in the city with, 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 a, <laughs> a, with a, hell, a heavy well, divorce coming right, through? Right. Well, you know, yeah. And calorie restriction is supposed to be the one that, uh, the one that works. So it's, it extends yeah. lifespans in, in mice. But then not in humans. You have no fun. And also it doesn't work. Oh, exercise, right. exercise, he says, the only thing.